The large red metal bins advertise for you to donate clothes and shoes, but the setup is not what it appears. Cairo Team 7 investigative reporter Chris Holsney takes you inside a for-profit company with alleged ties to organized criminal activity and a cult leader. Your kids outgrow their shoes, maybe you get sick of your favorite shirt. A donation bin is a great alternative to the garbage can. Put your goods inside this nice blue box and you've just helped a bona fide local nonprofit. However, you drop your goods in that red bin over there, you're essentially giving cash to a multi-million dollar enterprise. Use Again has installed clothing donation boxes in around 600 parking lots, alleys, and business fronts all over western Washington. The company plays on people's preconceived notions that all bins represent charity. In reality, Use Again sells the majority of your toys, sweatshirts, shoes, and bundles of blankets to international used clothing brokers in Russia, South America, and Africa. It might get to a needy person, but they'll likely have to pay for it. It's disappointing. It's, that's a, it's a ripoff. It's a scam, you know. It's, you know, we're donating our kids' clothes and our clothes and shoes. We thought, you know, we're, they're going to local charities, and it's, yeah, it pisses me off. That's not nice. It's very deceptive, and it's, it's cheating our, our people. A former employee who knows details of Use Again finances tells Cairo Team 7 investigators the company diverts hundreds of tons of used clothing and millions of dollars away from legitimate local charity organizations in Washington every year. Part of their success is duping unknowing donators. Fire beware, right? Part of it is convincing businesses like Kim's Auto Repair to give free space to a red Use Again bin. All proceeds, I was told, were going to a charity. Manager Sherry Asbury says she feels deceived by Use Again employees who are wanting to collect goods at her high traffic location. <laughs> That's ridiculous. We had no idea anything like that was going on. I, I mean, I, I thought maybe a homeless shelter or a shelter for women or... I'm kind of stunned. Former Seattle's Use Again branch manager, Lee White, is now living in Texas. She says workers routinely pretended to be a charity so business owners wouldn't ask for rent on the bin space. I helped place many bins and never ever did I mention for profit because if I mentioned for profit, the businesses were going to say, what's in it for me? Use Again is run by a Swedish-born Chicagoan named Matthias Wallander. He says the company recently added the word commercial to its bins and has always been honest about its profit motives. Our interest is in doing something that's good. Uh, we're not looking to get rich of this. Uh, we're looking to provide good for the planet and a good uh, for, the, for the local community and, of course, make a living in the process. But Wallander and his co-founder, Janice Bostick, are controversial figures in the used clothing industry for reasons beyond their for-profit venture. Court records show the public prosecutor for serious economic crime in Denmark links Use Again with helping finance an alleged cult called the Tevind Teachers Group. The teachers group leader, Amdi Peterson, is an international fugitive wanted in connection with a $22 million tax fraud and embezzlement scheme. Wallander is not individually named in connection with the case, just use again, in which he is part owner. We are not associated with any organization in Denmark, uh, and if anyone is uh, accused of any wrongdoing in Denmark, that doesn't have anything to do with use again or uh, the business we're doing here. Some financial records uncovered by Team 7 investigators indicate otherwise. Fairbank, Cooper & Lyle is a Caribbean-based investment company that, according to its website, is the majority stakeholder of Use Again. European court documents show Fairbank, Cooper & Lyle controls most of the teachers' group finances. Wallander admits he's involved with the teachers' group, but he denies it's a cult or that he's done anything illegal. That's a ridiculous uh, statement. And uh, I don't think the teach group is anything that needs uh, to be defended. It's, a, uh, like you say, it's a personal choice I've made to be uh, associated with the community that does a lot of good around the world. Unfortunately, when they place it next to us, we end up 
we end up losing or not getting the donations. Denise Small is a manager at Northwest Center, a certified charity in Seattle. When people place used clothing donations inside its blue boxes, the money stays local. Northwest Center provides vocational training for the developmentally disabled. The most vulnerable people are the people that we work with, and those are people with disabilities, and it's really even harder to get jobs for them you know, if we don't have the backing and funding to do that. Use Again defends itself, saying on most of the bins, they have put a sticker that says, we are a commercial company. Critics say it wouldn't be quite so confusing if they would just stop there, because the bin goes on to say, we cooperate with schools and nonprofits. Reporting in Linwood, Chris Halsney, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News.